How's it going everybody? It's Warren and it's been a while but I have a DC video today. Don't worry, Marvel content isn't going anywhere, it will always be the priority, but I got a lot of requests to do a Joker spoiler free review. And the movie was just so dang good that I have to do it. I got a really cool Marvel video coming out in a couple of hours so stay tuned for that, but Joker. As I said, this is a spoiler free review, I will not be spoiling anything about the movie. So now that we got that out of the way, this movie is fantastic. It has to be the best movie that has come from DC in years, with the exception of Wonder Woman, but they are very different films. It's about Arthur Fleck losing his mind, going psychotic, and becoming the Joker that we know from the comics. And it is honestly probably one of the realest movies that I've seen. Now I won't dive too big into the psychology of everything because I don't want to ruin it, but this is a psychological thriller. And as you see Arthur Fleck become bad, you get happy and it's really weird because you start to root for him the more bad that he gets. That was something that was truly amazing about this film. While I was watching this movie, I felt so bad for Arthur Fleck and you were almost pissed off for him. And as he begins to lose it, you root for him. You want him to lose it. And you find yourself rooting for a psychopath, which is just amazing direction by the director. So the biggest thing that I truly enjoyed about the movie is I really did not know what was going to happen, but I thought I did. I went into the movie thinking that I knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew how the story was going to unfold, but I definitely did not. They throw in a few twists that you just really don't see coming, and they're really, really good. And they happen quite frequently throughout the film, not too much, but just enough, so they keep you on the edge of your seat. There are some slow scenes in this movie that are very fitting for the film. This is not a complaint. These scenes are very necessary and I enjoyed them even though they were slower. But the scenes where things get crazy are awesome. And warning about the film, it's violent and it's gory. So if you have young kids, I definitely would not recommend taking them to see it. This is not a typical Joker movie. This is not about a clown terrorizing Batman. This is about a man who is down on life and snaps it and becomes psychotic and then becomes the Joker. And of course, we know through other movies that the Joker ends up becoming a villain and a mass murderer. But having said that, they do tie it into Batman, I won't say how, but they did it in the perfect way. It wasn't too subtle to where you missed it, but it wasn't too big to where it took away from the movie. And again, just when you thought you knew what was going to happen, the movie took a different turn. It's full of just shocking surprises. And seriously, Joaquin Phoenix nailed the part. For his role in this movie as Joker, he is definitely going to be nominated for some awards, but he will probably win them as well. To truly get to the mindset of somebody who is down on life and life is against him, and bad thing after bad thing after bad thing keeps happening to the point to where you snap and lose it and become psychotic, that's insanely hard. And it takes a toll on you mentally. I read in an article that Joaquin Phoenix would have nightmare after nightmare about all of the scenes that he shot as the Joker. So it does take a lot to get into that character's mindset, but he does an absolutely amazing job. I can't imagine anybody else playing this part but him. And really overall, I just love the movie. Everything was great. It pushed all of the boundaries, probably broke a lot of them, but it didn't feel like it was. It didn't feel like they were trying to do that. It just felt like a very real movie. And I thoroughly enjoyed it and will most likely go see it again and will definitely be buying it on Blu-ray when it comes out. So I hope you enjoyed my spoiler-free review of The Joker. I will be doing an ending explained video for Joker later on today. And like I said, I have a Marvel video coming out in a couple of hours, so stay tuned for that. And of course, if you would like a chance to win an Xbox One or a PS4, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment on this video, and like it as well to enter my giveaway. Also, if you'd like a chance to win a Nintendo Switch, you can follow me on Twitter and click the link in the description down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.